I don't think so, I think it's 60 seconds. Here's your Hello, welcome to the show. It's great to have you here. Now, what I'd like from you is to know how many people are playing the game. Just the one of you. How cozy. Now, name, please. Okay, what's it to be? Well, you're the boss. 30 seconds. Now, when you want to buzz in, hit the letter B. That's B as in bubble bath. <laughs> well, 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 so you already know how to play. Come on, let's have one. <laughs> In categorical terms, you have chosen... It's a toga party and everybody's coming. As far as the sheets available, two grand is up for grabs. Listen carefully. If the mythological Roman lovers, Vitamnus and Pomona, were to engage in mutual and simultaneous oral stimulation, it would most likely be referred to as what? MXVIII, DICVD, LXIX, or MCDIM. LXIX, or 69. <laughs> Do you know, I recently had sex with a dyslexic girl. Uh, it was great. From the list of categories, pick a category. Next up, Hit Parade. Give me a right answer. You got yourself 3,000 quid. What's next in this series? Night in heaven, tribes go to war, coins in the fountain, Frankie Valley seasons, guys named Mo, degrees of separation. Days in the Beatles week, Miles Edwin Starr is from home, reasons why I love her, or tears flowing to the ocean. Edwin was 25 miles from home and his feet were hurting mighty bad. Buy a car then. You've got money coming out of your quick fit. The correct answer is... One night in heaven, two tribes go to war, three coins in the fountain, Frankie Valley in the four seasons, five guys named Mo, six degrees of separation, and finally seven tears flowing to the ocean, as reported by the Goombe Dance Band. I thank you. And whatever happened to the Goombe Dance Band? Let's hope it was fatal. Using your brain, pick a category. Question three. And your selection is... Desperate for a poo. And this one's worth £2,000. Oh, you smell that? That's the stench of question. Imagine you're Eeyore in Winnie the Pooh. You go into the woods to find your bear friend, but he isn't there. What might you study to find him? Claw marks on nearby trees, configurations of small animal bones, trails of foul-smelling urine, or the position of piles of Pooh's poo. No, you follow these to find out where Nicholas Scott lives. Oh, you a very little brain. Bears make scratch marks on trees with their claws to show where they've been. Choose a category. The light sounds of question four. And the category is... I'm gonna nuke that rat. That's what I'm gonna do. One thousand pounds for this little baby. Imagine a society where the control of nuclear weapons has become democratized to the point where rent kill can legally use them in their fight against verminous rats. If they wanted to eliminate the pests with one blast of great kill potential with the least structural damage, what kind of bomb should they use? Hydrogen bomb, atomic bomb, neutron bomb, or cherry bomb? <laughs> No, as I recall, the A-bomb is not entirely harmless to building structures, but what do I know? I'm just a weirdo. <laughs> if you'd have got it right, you'd have said this. Neutron bombs are designed to keep the blast level low and the radiation level high. Thank goodness, I hate to see any inanimate objects get harmed. Okay, pick a category. Excellent choice, player. Let's play this or that. And the this or that category is... Can you smell what it is yet? Okay, let's see what we've got here then. I've got a list of seven names here, right? I'm gonna read them off. All you've got to do is tell me if they're, um... Type of pasta or a famous painter. So if you think you're looking at a pasta, put some parmesan on key one. And if you think you've got a painter there, stretch a canvas on key two. And press four to skip. 
for a right answer, you get 500 sheets. And if you get it wrong or don't get to it, it'll cost you 500. All right, 30 seconds on the clock, now! Rotte, fai tormenta. Contigli, fai tormenta. Tintoretto, fai tormenta. Munch, fai tormenta. Macaroni, fai tormenta. Canaletto, fai tormenta. Last one. Canale. That's all seven. Five. Hmm. Well, right, stick that on your score and let's be going. Please select. Can you dig it? Here's it. And you went for the one called Genetic Engineering Made Easy. Well, looks like it could be tricky. So three thousand pounds for this one. Come on, then you start in. What would be the best name for Foghorn Leghorn and Hissing Sid's son? Basil the Basilisk, Harry the Harpy, Kenny the Centaur, or Sandy the Snockerel? No, a harpy was half woman, half vulture. Hey, how can you tell which half is which? <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> hey, you suck cock. Oh, God, sorry. Um, <laughs> you suck, comma, cockerel and snake makes basilisk. I really am awfully sorry. <laughs> so it slithers up to you and goes, Wah! Choose a category. The 7 o'clock news with question 7. And the next question is... It's free, you don't have to pay. Two thousand pounds ready and waiting for the right answer. The question is as follows. Of the following royals, which one could have carried a small birdcage in his or her hair in accordance with the contemporary style? Queen Victoria, Richard the Lionheart, Mary Antoinette or Fergie? Marie Antoinette, 18th century women often wore bird cages or baskets in their hairdos. <laughs> of course, later on in life, Miss Antoinette changed to wearing her hair permanently in a basket. Pick a category now. Order me the taco plate with the side of question eight. And this one's called There's No Such Thing as a Stupid Question. Not too tough, 1,000 sheets up for grabs. Brace yourselves, here's the question. How many rings are in a three ring binder? The remainder of six divided by two, two, half a circle's radius with diameter of six, or square root of nine? Square root of nine, see? I wouldn't trick you for the hell of it. Or am I just saying that to catch you off guard? Oh, what's that over there? Woof, <laughs> I just punctured your thigh with a compass. You got your cat boots on you, man. Come on, give us one. Okay, let's have one called uh, a tenner for a snow job. And I'll give you £2,000 if you get it right. Bloody aneurysm. I can't remember what a bloody thing is. What is it? Eh? What is going on? What's his bloody name? Buzz in, would you? Buzz the buzz buzz and type your stuff when you remember member. What's the name of that big scary cold bloke? You know, that, that one who's supposed to live up in Tibet gets mistaken for snowmen. Uh, he scares people rotten. He's got big feet, I remember. Oh, come on then, solo quiz. Uh, the abominable snowman, otherwise known as Yeti. <laughs> Personally, I don't believe in any of that abominable snowman stuff. Excuse me, do you mind? Can you uh, shut that door and wipe your feet? Categorically speaking, I want one! <laughs> and now, the swearing 11 plus. And this one's worth a thousand pounds. Undercarriage down. Let's land this question. What's next in this series? Vicious, hissing, little, punk, idiot, bugger, or snot. Punk. <sighs> ah, you made my day. If you're interested, the answer is... Snot. They're all kinds of Sid. Sid Vicious from the Sex Pistols, hissing Sid from Captain Beaky, Sid Snot on the Kenny Everett video show, and Sid Little from the furthest reaches of darkest hell. Hello, and welcome to the halfway mark. 
There are ten more questions coming at you in round two. If you've been struggling so far, keep your chin up. Everything in round two is worth double. Come on, let's have one. <laughs> Minus one, plus two, minus one, it's eleven. You have selected viewing habits of marine life. This is a six thousand pound question. Okay, it's a big one. Given its particular special attribute, what might be a goldfish's favorite children's TV show? Rainbow, Take Heart, Doobie Ducks, Disco Bus, or The Magic Roundabout? The goldfish can see a greater range of colors than any other animal known to man, and so would appreciate all the colors of the rainbow. <laughs> well, you might think you're clever, Mr. Bloody Goldfish, in your little bowl, but let's see how long you last in a hot pan with fat. Just as I thought, not long at all. Okay, pick a category. Twelve. Celebrity voice impersonated. Okay, we're gonna have one called Brilliant Insight, or just Poor Eyesight. And it's a four thousand pound question. Which artist might have placed the following ad? Help wanted. French painter needs impressionable model. You should look good in pastels and be easier to see the farther away I get. Monet, Michelangelo, Da Vinci, or Rodin. No. No, Rodin is a sculptor, very great man, but he's dead now. Écoutez et répétez. A Claude Monet, French Impressionist painter. Very talented man, a good friend of mine, uh, cannot paint uh, for merde, but very great man. He's now dead, unfortunately. Using your brain, pick a category. I love 13, number 13, oh -ho. And the category is a simple spelling testicle. Two thousand pounds for this little baby. Here's the question, fingers ready. Of the following, which is the only word or phrase that cannot be formed from the letters in the word ejaculation? Ale action, a caution, in a cup, or ounce? You can't spell in a cup from the letters. <laughs> Why? Because there's no P in ejaculation. Ah, uh, well that's not always strictly true, as my ex-girlfriend will testify. From the list of categories, pick a category. Oh, best butts fit mine hall. It's time for... Flicker Kiss Don't Scum. People in power have named this category... Uh, just smell the saddle, uh, would you madam? There's a possible maximum of 10,000 greenbacks on this gibberish question. Okay, I'm going to be taking cash away every 1.5 seconds, so the faster you are, the more you score. Uh, using your powers of rational thought, attempt, please, to work out which cliché this rhyming rubbish rhymes with, and then type it in, or else I will attack you with a chisel. Smell craft, Joe Jory, biker and man fawn. It applies to women. Like Imac. Women who are very, very, very. Come on, Nobby Nomates! Type like the wind and hit return. Well, you know, we haven't got all day. <laughs> well, you yeah, gave it your best shot, didn't you? Uh, and it missed, uh, by quite a way. Oh, Jesus, no. Oh. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Good old-fashioned sexism in a rhyming, interactive, modern CD-ROM fashion. Let's crack on. Choose a category. This one's called... I say a little prayer for... This question 
could net you 6k. Fingers on the buzzers, here's the question. Imagine Bert Bacharach is a big fan of the action movie genre. What sequence of all action blockbusters might have inspired him to write trains and boats and planes? Die Hard 1, Die Hard 2 and Die Hard 3, Sudden Death, Die Hard, Passenger 57, Die Hard 2, Executive Decision, Passenger 57, or Under Siege 2, Under Siege, Passenger 57? No, this would make planes and planes and planes, which would be just bloody stupid, really. They might as well just call the song Planes. <laughs> I mean, why didn't you pick? The action in these films took place respectively on a train, a boat, and a plane. Pick a category now. King 16! Hail to the king! In terms of category, this is... Tired and emotional. And we are talking 4,000 quid for the right answer. People often say to me, Jack, you're talking rubbish, and I'm often forced to attack them with a chisel. Ironically enough, talking rubbish is precisely what I'm about to do. Whose rubbish do you think this is? Buzz in and type when you know. Oh, cigar butts. Uh, notebooks filled with German smut. Mm, some stuffing from a couch. Oh, look, letters from Carl Jung defaced with the collective unconscious is a load of cack. <laughs> An educated bin man would have said, This is Sigmund Freud's rubbish. Uh, the great man had quite a few well-known descendants. I was slapped around the face for trying to see what clothes designer Bella wore under her skirt. Uh, it was a Freudian slip. Choose a category. Categorically, this is the category of... Bizarre mating rituals. I'm willing to offer you 4,000 crisp green sheets. Okay, here it comes. According to the commercial, if a man you've never met before suddenly gives you flowers, that's... Weird, ecstasy, Charlie, or impulse. That's impulse. <laughs> As a dedicated masturbator, I only ever buy flowers for myself. My favorite ones are, of course, self-raising. Categorically speaking, I want one! 18. The name of this question is... You overhear the strangest things. You could be getting yourself 2,000 for the right answer. There's a question coming. I can just smell it. Let's say you're minding your own business when you overhear somebody saying, Charlie Oscar Whiskey. What is it that they're most likely doing? Calling Oscar and Charlie to breakfast, trying to sell a discontinued brand of whiskey, telling you caution, operating winch, or spelling cow with code words. Charlie Oscar Whiskey, they're communication code words. <laughs> Whiskey or Charlie, Oscar? Uh, a bit of both, please, uh, Lucian, and I'll have some poo, too, if there's any going. You got any categories on you, man? Come on, give us one. Like a bad Hollywood scene, it was question 19. <laughs> and here we have... Six drags and rhyming couplets. And a cool 6,000 quid for this one. Karen, are you starting? Considering facts from his life, what would have been poet John Donne's favourite Madonna track? True Blue, Holiday, Vogue, or Like a Virgin? Forced to marry in secrecy, Donne had to keep up a pretense of innocence to keep his position in the church. <laughs> hey everybody, Danny's a virgin! He's still got his cherry! <laughs> Please select... Fresh saver. 20. And your choice is... Blockbuster. Olympus branch. You give me the right answer, I'm gonna give you 4,000 pounds. Undercarriage down. Let's land this question. It's the Cyclops' turn to pick the film at the Greek gods' video and curry evening. Given his own unique requirements, what will he not be selecting? Animal Farm, Jaws 3D, The Piano, or Derek Jarman's Blue? Cyclops has only got one eye, and to truly appreciate the 3D element of Jaws 3D, you need two eyes for stereoscopic vision, don't you? <laughs> and no brain. From the list of categories, pick a category.
It's time for the attack. When you see- Oh, so you know the Jack o' Jack drill. Here's your clue. Those chaseless amputee jokes. Chop chop. You attack Jack back. Let's see how your score shapes up, big fella. That's the game! Do you want to lie down? That must have taken an awful lot out of you. Let me soothe you with these words. You don't know Jack! Okay, everyone, yep, that was good. Okay, let's run the commercials now. Murray, uh -huh. what's going on with the contestants? 